D-Day is here! Today we finish remodeling a military family's home. Join me and a platoon of dedicated professionals as we put the finishing touches on this military makeover. Time for us to show our appreciation and give back to those who have sacrificed. This is Designing Spaces Military Makeover, and it starts right now. Well, here we are in the final stages of our military makeover for Marine Robert Keefe and his family. Soon, he will be returning to his own. Who is Robert Keefe anyway? Pay attention, here's your brief. I grew up in Okeechobee, Florida. Graduated Okeechobee High School in 1996. And went to a couple years of college and then joined the Marine Corps. Before joining the Marine Corps, Robert was working as a produce manager at a local grocery store. I was a cashier and he worked <laughs> um, as a produce manager. And I couldn't keep my eyes off her. I um, used every tactic to just to talk to her. Finally, she uh, agreed to go on a date with me and first date, first kiss. Soon after, Robert enlisted and joined the Marine Corps. We averaged six to 10 IED strikes every mission. My truck alone hit five IEDs. Um, the first one just destroyed the front end. Nobody was hurt. Robert was lucky to escape three more IED attacks, but his luck eventually ran out. The fifth IED stripe was the one that injured me. The injuries were serious. Diagnosis, vertebrae compression fracture, traumatic brain injury, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, I'm alive and I have all my limbs, so I feel very, very uh, blessed. And, um... Now it's time for us at Designing Spaces to give back to Robert and his family. The heavy lifting will begin right after this. We are in the final moments of completing our renovations for Robert Keep and his family. When they return to this house, it will be a different place. Their dream home. Final touches are commencing right now. We're in the final stages of our military makeover and the big reveal is just around the corner. While we have the chance, I want to get with David Sipperman, creative director at Crow Sill Home, to see what he's doing to the living room and master bedroom. David came into our project with some definite goals in mind. Do you remember we said a blank canvas is a major challenge, right? So you've got to now, yeah. what, are, what are you thinking? You want to float this out into the room, but you've got to have ways to walk yeah, around Yeah, to it. see how this, this sectional all goes together. Maybe the back of it will be here, just defining this walkway into where the uh, bedrooms are. Oh, I see what you're saying. So the largest part of the sofa will be looking out, and then we can get a chair. That could go sort of anywhere. Of course, the TV is a major component. This is where the Omnimount will be installed with a large screen higher TV. Looks like David's vision is coming together with my help, of course. All right. Because of the size of this furniture and the way we have to position it, if you can pull the television out and pivot it toward the viewer, that's going to be very helpful. Yes, I think, I think I like what you're doing. So I think once the rug is done, which has some nice pops of color in it for some uh, added interest, we can start to then position the furniture. All right, well, you've got your work cut out for you, David, so get to work, pal. But, you know, we always like a challenge here. <laughs> well, that's why we flew in the best, you know? <laughs> Let's shift our focus to the bedroom. David, so all of the bedroom furniture has arrived and we're storing it out here because yeah. we have a yeah, little bit of an issue. Look. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a problem here. Now this is all wet, they're still grouting. Ah, okay. So we're gonna be under a major time crunch. I don't know if we're gonna get it done, really. And I have a beautiful uh, rug to put down also, so that really needs to go down before we put the bed together. Right, and this is a queen size. Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna look really nice. No, it's nice. a great looking bed. Yeah. Uh, I like the black ebony finish a lot. It looks really good. So you, you were talking about the style. I mean, we've got contemporary elements happening yeah. and some traditional elements happening. Well, I think that the based on the early selections that uh, Robert and Bianca made, they tend toward traditional, but there are some contemporary things here, which, as you mentioned, so I 
have also brought in a mix of traditional and contemporary elements and some of the decorative accessories. Okay. And I have a couple art pieces coming in which are a little more contemporary, so I think we'll get a nice balance. Time to check back in with our ProSil designer, David. David, it looks like so, you're making a lot of progress. Well, it looks like a little bit of a mess right now, but we actually have gotten a lot of things done. We have bar stools done. We're finally getting the draperies hung. These are beautifully woven, neutral colored draperies by Crowcell. A little steam before the big reveal certainly wouldn't hurt. And you know what's most impressive? You're getting all of this done in spite of the fact you have to work with Joe. So, well, true. Yeah. <laughs> While this furniture selection, all provided by Haverty's, allows for the entire family to gather, it's massive and all dark brown in color. It's important to add elements that will break up the scale of the furniture, as well as the one color statement. What we're gonna do is we'll start it over toward this wall. Okay. We'll come out and create an L going around this way. So you'll be able to sit facing the television here, you can pivot the TV and you'll be able to watch it just as well here. Yeah, we still have a Yeah, just keep a nice, easy passageway from the bedrooms over here. Once the furniture, the sectional is in place, then I can start to add some elements to the wall. Also, multiple throw pillows and a woven wool throw blanket help to give interest, texture, and scale to this large sectional sofa. There was a big challenge in the bedroom. True. Uh, we had the, uh, the grout was not dry, the tile wasn't complete. Uh, but yet we had the furniture guys here and they needed to assemble the uh, the bed and the bed frame. So that was a little bit of a yeah. crunch. Where'd you go, David? There You're you go. So that was a little <laughs> bit of a crunch, right? So uh, let's, It was, let's and then we also look. had a beautiful new area rug that I uh, selected for the room. As you can see, the furniture is actually quite massive. So you don't need a lot of pieces of furniture in this room to create a lot of drama. The Crocil Bennett Duvet Cover Collection was selected for its beautiful modern interpretation of traditional design motifs, all natural cotton woven, and intricately detailed accent pillows and pillow shams. This rug is a plush woven wool rug with a large scale medallion design in platinum gray and ivy that will give focus to the room and provide a comfortable and inviting mood to this space. David, you're doing oh, a great job. I'm gonna let you get lot. back to work and uh, I'll check in with you in a little okay. bit. Good. David, our designer, is working with the landscape team. They're gonna place all of this beautiful outdoor furniture from Macy's over on the brand new patio here. It's there you really go, David. quite a transformation. You got the umbrella stand. So let's lift that up. Pop that into position. So I think this is great. They're going to love it out here. I think they'll be spending most of their time in the garden. <laughs> ah, the most important grill tool of all. A nice Cabernet. I think we need to uh, tap into this yeah, at lunch. Someone was really thoughtful about that. I, I think know. that's. Did they leave that for us? I think so. Okay, good. For this moment. All right, good. Well, <laughs> we'll be on break for the next half hour. Yes, catch up with us later. Of course, all the items and additional style ideas can be found at crowsill.com. All the work got done just before the deadline. Now it's time for the Keefs to reclaim their territory. Hello, Keefe family. Hello. Take an umbrella. Now, it may be a little nasty out here, but it's going to get a whole lot nicer inside. It's beautiful. Right? It's so pretty. Doesn't it? How are you? Nervous, excited. This is our designer flew down from New York City. Oh, wow, this is David. You. Hi, David. Oh, you're from Pro Sill Home, and he got you started with some beautiful home decor. Turn around, guys. Whoa! Oh. Bianca. Gunny. Welcome to my humble abode. How smart. Wow. Well, so we've been really busy. We I'll were say. kind of pressed for time. We didn't think we were going to get done. Nice desk, huh? Oh, my yes. goodness. That is beautiful. You know what? That desk is nicer than my desk at home. I understand that you have a gun or two, a rifle. Yes, or sir. Two hunting. But I, oh, so we, <laughs> you're right. I didn't even see that behind you. So we have a safe, and I'll bet Bianca probably doesn't have a gun, though. No, Bianca sure does. So you see, I found Glock is more than happy to provide us with one that's just your size. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're gonna love the kitchen. Turned out better than I could imagine. You got oh. a nice big fridge. Wow. And 
The island is very appropriate, not very nice, all the way around, all new appliances. What? Now, I, I think we've got a bedroom over here after you. Oh, wow. And I believe this would be the master bedroom, if I'm yep, not mistaken. This is uh, Mommy and Daddy's uh, hideaway, and a glamorous one at that. Yeah, yeah, there's a pillow for me and mine. <laughs> I might let you touch them. And we have flooring. We have a floor. We didn't have a floor before. Come on, guys, we'll see Let's the rest see. of it. Isn't this? Look at this living room. It's a completely different uh, area. I, I think that's your room, right? Check it out, bud. That... Wow! Oh my god, Ricky, look! Look at this nice carpet. You like that design? Look at that. <laughs> wow. Now, I don't know how you are about garages, but my garage is so full of junk, I can't oh get my cars in my it. Goodness. But what is a couple this? of Bosch tools. You know how to use tools. I sure do. There's always a need for those around the house. Wow. I actually have turned this into a a small Jurassic Park. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's a lot of, it's a lot greener than it was. Wow. This has all got to come to an end sometime, so we'll leave you guys here so you can explore on your own and take a closer look and uh, just enjoy it, okay? We will. God bless you, Bianca. Thank you. I'm gonna, no, I'm a hugger. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you, sweetie. No hung in there, Lieutenant. No, no file, just take okay, us I'll hug you. <laughs> okay, Ricky, you look after him, okay, while I'm gone? Thank you so much. Uh, everything you've done to facilitate making our, our life so much better. Log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.